In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber about five different Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Each round, the guests will have five questions about the round's chosen card. Each answer is worth a point until the final round where they must guess that card's price. The better the answer, the more points the guest receives. Can your favorite YouTuber win the ultimate prize? You will just have to watch to find out. If you want to win the giveaway for this video, which is half of the prize money won during today's game show, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know down below who do you want to see on the next episode of Guess That Price Season 2. Welcome back to Guess That Price Season 2, Episode 2, and we have a guest that did not make an appearance on the first season, but you probably know him. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm um, excited to uh, test my knowledge. Uh, if I don't, if I get the vintage questions right and miss the rest, I, uh, I think I'll do do uh do what i'm supposed to do so we'll it'll be an interesting competition well the name vintage Yu-Gi-Oh, it is your name so you have to get the vintage right yeah, uh, anything else i think can be forgiven at that point yeah i'm excited i uh, expect some challenges uh probably a card will be completely unknown to me but um roll the dice and hopefully i can win win some money for a uh, a lucky uh commenter yeah, and the fun part about this year is not only the commoners get winnings, but you can also win some money too. So if you can get that top prize, you guys will both be going, you and a random viewer, 500 bucks. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, make sure you do it. Let's get into the first card. Let's not waste any time because these can these can take a long time yeah. sometimes. Yeah. First card. Are you ready? I am ready. Is the Cyber Laser Dragon. What year and what set was this card printed in? I'm... 99% sure that is Shadow of Infinity. And I believe that was right before Tactical Evolution, which is 2007. So I'm gonna lock it in as Shadow of Infinity 2007. All right, that's your final answer? Yes. All right, Lewis. Shadow of Infinity was released on March 15th, 2006. Ooh. So you get one point. Uh, you got Shadow fine. of Infinity, right? That's fine. That's but fine. you, you got to work on those GX years, man. That's a little bit after vintage. I mean, it's vintage-y now, but so it doesn't really count. But yeah, half right's good for me. <laughs> you get one point. That's not too bad. And now you get to do the rarity of the original printing, which I think you may or may not know. Let's find out. And you said Cyber Laser? Cyber Laser Dragon. And uh, you know the set. I always get confused. I think that it's like the ultra you don't want to pull, which also comes as an ultimate, but it also could be a random rare. But I think, I think it's the ultra that you don't want to pull. So I'm going to go, the original rarity was ultra ultimate in that set. Final answer. You are... Correct. Ooh. This is the ultra of the four ultras. You have three sacred beasts and you have cyber laser yeah, dragon. Yeah. So you also could have just said ultimate okay. and you would have been right. Yeah. So you could do that as well. But yeah. Bonus. <laughs> so Bonus you got coverage. yeah one point there. Uh, good job uh, identifying the second rarity as well. You have two points out of possible three. You're doing pretty good so far. Now for one of the harder spots that we've had yes. so far. Yes. The multiple choice. This can get a little dicey sometimes. How many printings does the Cyber Laser Dragon have? You have four options here. First option, A, two printings. B, four printings. C, seven printings. Or D, six printings. Ooh, that's so. I know for a fact it's more than two because there's two in Shadow of Infinity. And I also know it's in a Duelist pack. So that's at least three. Um, so then the other options are four, six, and seven. I'm yep. gonna guess it got printed in some random structure deck or um, or some later later set that was kind of you know machine driven or something. You do four. have a lifeline. So don't forget yeah, those. Yeah. Uh, four, six, or seven. So, but I've already eliminated one. So I'd like to use the lifeline probably on one that I have absolutely no idea on. So smart. Uh, four, six, or seven. Seven is doesn't seem like outlandish, but I'm always like, uh, you know, it's like, a, I mean, we're on a game show, so you always want to lean away from the extremes, but maybe you're tricking me by putting it as the extreme. Um, I'm going to take Who a knows? shot. I'm going to take a shot in the dark and say six. Final answer. All right. The Cyber Laser Dragon has four printings. Ah, and you knew three of them. You're, there's three of them. one other one what? that you didn't know. What, what was that? That's a great question. Let me, let me actually pull that up. Yeah, so it was Duelist Pack 4 Zane Truesdale, and then uh, Dark Revelation 4 also had a rare as well. So it has two rare printings other than the two main printings. So okay. 
pretty obscure printings, to be yeah, honest. It's kind of weird. Yeah, so. It hasn't been printed in over a decade then. All right, now we get to the, the namesake of the game, the price. Yes. I will be asking you about the Shadow of Infinity Ultimate Rare First Edition printing. Okay. What is the price of the First Edition Ultimate Rare from Shadow of Infinity? Right. Near Mint, of course. Yeah. So TCG we, player price priced by like lowest listing. Yeah, we've already kind of talked about it being the least desirable, so that kind of puts it in an interesting category because you know the the you know Urea and, and Hammond and all of them are, are probably close to closer to a thousand, but this one. Ah, it's tough. Definitely under the $100 mark, but probably not under the $50 mark. So I'm somewhere in that $50 to $100 range. So I might just kind of shoot for the middle and say 75, but um, it is still an ultra ulti, which are, you know, you have to have a hobby box and then you're still only getting probably one out of 12 boxes. Sounds pretty rare. Yeah, it is rare. So, but rarity always do doesn't always equal, um, you know, value, unfortunately. But sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna say $88. I'm gonna lean closer to 100 just because I do think it should be it should be worth close to 100. I think so, but I'm gonna lean on the underside. Don't forget, 100. you have lifelines on every category. I know you're, you're talking like it's probably like 200, 300 bucks. But I'm gonna interesting. Stick, I'm gonna stick with 88. I could be way off, but 88. You're sticking with 88. I'm sticking with 88. Not two or 300 bucks. No, no. The Cyber Laser Dragon. Mr. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! It's probably two hundred dollars. It's two hundred and eighty dollars. No, <laughs> I would never. I don't. I would never pay that much. It is a it's a Cyber Dragon card, yes. and it's ultimate rare, and it's in Shadow of Infinity. I mean, yeah. it is still pretty high. Like when I saw this, I was like, "Oh wow, that's pretty high." But it kind of checks out. But at the same time, it's like, "Wow, that no. is a lot for a Cyber I, Laser Dragon." Yeah, I would. I would buy a lot of cards over that. For if they were eighty-eight, I feel like I would. I would pick up a couple yeah. because they're pretty nice. But. 280 it's it's like uh, that's yeah, that's a little right, well, that's pushing it throw that one in the trash can but that's 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 fine that's fine no big deal you got four to go you've got two points right now not the best start but that's okay you have four more cards to make up for Hopefully it my lifeline saved me i think this next one you're gonna do okay let's see all right well yeah. the next card is eye of tamias eye of tamias what is the year and set of the original printing i think i know the rarity if it's the first set, um, if it's a set I'm thinking of, it's a... Um, What's the set you're thinking of? Um, a Dragons of Legends set. And I think the... Mm. But I could be wrong. There's been a few of those. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like Unleashed or, you know, there's been, there's been, yeah, there's been a few. But I think it yeah. might be the original one with uh, the Dark Magician girl, uh, the, the popular card that Tim has like 12 of. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think it's that set. Okay. Do you and know when that came out? I'm just going to take a shot in the dark because a guy actually randomly messaged me about uh, Dragons of Legend. And I saw so I had to look it up. So I'm I'm randomly going to lock in Dragons of Legend and lock in the year 2014. Final answer? That is my final answer. Dragons of Legend is the correct set. And it was released on April 25th. 2014 let's go <laughs> that, that is that is like uh that's wild because the, this guy that i bought some stuff with uh from he's just ran, ran literally like two days ago sent me a he had a hundred pack distribution box of dragons of legend he's like hey you know wow what, you know what this is worth and so i had to do some research on dragons of legend so that like i wouldn't know any of that if it wasn't for that so that that, that that's crazy all favor. right that's perfect he somehow knew you were gonna get that yeah. question yeah. okay do you know the rarity of that card i'm 90 percent sure oh, wow no nah, actually i'm probably 50 50 between ultra and secret um you do have lifelines yeah so the lifeline in this category what? you get a second guess Ooh, second so if you guess. know it's one of two you could guarantee it basically yeah or you could take the 50 50. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'll do this. I'll do the lifeline on this one. I'll, I'll guarantee myself okay. a point. All right. I, I I go back and forth. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But I will I will guess ultra first. Lewis. Yep. It's a good thing you used a lifeline. Ooh. It is not an ultra. All right. So I will guess secret and hopefully be right, but I still could be wrong. Lewis. Yes. Lifeline gives you one extra guess. Ooh. One point, mean. And fortunately for you, it was a secret rare. So you Ooh. do get one point. 
All right, that's your first lifeline has been used, but it was well worth it because yeah. you got a point. Yeah, so I went back and well forth. done. Like, I think I actually randomly pulled it and I like picture pulling it as a secret, but then also I picture it like sitting in my binder as an ultra. So well, there is an ultra in Unleashed, I believe. Ah, okay, okay. So I'm giving you a little hint for the next question, but right. it's not going to change well, too much. I know there's at least here. three printings then. Spoiler alert: they're all more than three on the answer. <laughs> all right, so all right. here we go. Number of printings. Okay. For the Eye of Tamias, we have four options. A, eight printings. B, five printings. C, 10 printings. Or D, six printings. Okay, so I know for a fact then there's three if there's Unleashed and then there's a the original and then uh, there's a Ghost and Ghost from the past two. And then uh, I think it was a pretty expensive card when it came out, so I assume it got printed uh, quite a few times in random you know, uh, side sets and this and that. I gotta pause, my cat is meowing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? So yeah, I, I know of at least three printings in the original Unleashed and Ghost from the Past 2 as a ghost. So the options were what? Eight, five, 10, and six. All right, I'm gonna stick with my, uh, my mindset on the first one and say it's probably not 10, but I do believe it's probably more than five or six, so I'm gonna guess eight and save the lifeline for one that um, maybe I have absolutely no idea on. Final answer? Eight is locked in. I have Tamias has eight printings. Woo! All right. You Randy. nailed it. And, right. and funny enough, they're almost all Dragons of Legend because uh. they did four in the completed series. Oh, mm -hmm. I think it was four. Yeah, four printings in the complete series, that recent reprint thing they did, that little oh. box. Oh, yeah, They yeah, have yeah, the yeah, blue yeah. version, the green uh. version, the purple version. So, like, it was Unleashed, Dragons of Legend, Legendary Dragon decks mm -hmm. that they did several years ago, and then the Ghost Rare. That was it. But there was four at once. Yeah, I remember that little box. That was one thing, one product that I did, did not waste my money on. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. So you're doing good on the Eye of Tamiya so far. You've gotten all the points. Yeah, that is, let's that, see. That's shocking, actually. Let's see if you can keep this up. All right. Because uh, we have to do at least a $10 card, we're doing the Ghost Rare version. Okay. okay. Because the secret was like seven bucks yeah, or something. So say, we didn't do that. Yeah, I would assume since it's been so so reprinted that, it, that the original would be cheaper. Yeah, it's not too expensive. So we're going to gonna do the first edition Ghost Rare printing from Ghost from the Past. Two, Ghost from the Past mm. 2. What's the price? Well, I have actually sold a couple of these on TCG Player within the last few months, so I have a decent idea, and some, unless something crazy's happened, uh, uh, you know, meta-wise or something that would chart, cause it to spike. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's the least desirable secret in all of Ghosts from the Past too, and I think it was kind of floating right around fifteen to twenty dollars. Um, so I'll say eighteen dollars. Final answer on that? Final answer, $18. This card, the Eye of Tobias Ghost Rare, is $14. Ah, I overshot it. You just snuck in, at because it's 4.2 yeah. for to get in that 30%. So you snuck in at one point. So honestly, though, would you get five points right there? Yeah, yeah. Three or four, maybe four. No, because you got two on the first question with the year in the set. You got one for the rarity, one on the multiple choice, oh, and then yeah. one right there yep, on the yep. thing. So you had five points to add to your two. So you're up to seven points now. No, not too shabby. That's not bad. Let's go on to card number three. XX Saber Hyun Lei. Oh, yeah. That is my language. <laughs> that's, that's from your favorite set, potentially. Yeah, potentially. That's an easy one. Absolute power force. 2010. The XX Saber Hyun Lei is from Absolute Power Force, and it was released on February 16th, 2010. I figured you would know yeah. at least the set in the year for this one, because yeah. you love this set. Yeah. So two points. Now the question is, do you know the rarity? All right, so another quick side, side quest. The same guy that sent me that Dragons of Unleash box had a distribution box of Absolute Power Force with 100 Ooh. packs in it that I bought off of him and I ended up ripping almost all of them. Just <laughs> and I actually pulled it, uh, pulled that card, and that is the only card from that set that I do not have in PSA 10 in Ultimate Rare. Wow. That uh, And it's a candidate, so it's at PSA right now. Hopefully we'll get a 10. And so that, that personal story will lead me to the answer of this question being it is an ultra, but also an ultimate and its highest rarity from Absolute Power Force. Final answer. You are correct. You're running through this one really easily. But now I'm wondering, 
Do you know how many printings this card has? That, that is a better question. <laughs> okay, here are the options. A, four printings. B, six printings. C, eight printings. Or D, two printings. I could definitely see this only being printed in Absolute Power Force because I do know even the Ultra has some decent value, um, which lets me to believe if it had been printed as you know, a, a common or a rare in a later set. And I don't ever remember seeing it in a later set. You still have lifelines. I know, I know. It just depends like what the last two cards you have in store for me. And it depends how nice you are with your lifeline. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna let it ride and I am gonna say that it has only been printed those two times in absolute power force locked in all right you're getting gutsy because you already know it has two printings for sure yep, because yep. of the answer earlier and you're saying there's not a single other printing uh, that's what i'm telling you vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. your logic was sound it has two printings Woo! yeah well, i'm glad i didn't ever think that another yeah if you had if you had gone astray after saying well the ultra has a good a pretty high price so and i was like yeah he's right on if you had changed after that that would have been sad yeah Four points, you're running through this one, which is not a surprise, no, it's, it's absolute power force. Yeah, should do well now. But the question is, do you know the price of the first set ultimate rare in near mint at the moment? Uh, yeah, I gotta kind of take the pedestal, or take, like, I'm, I'm used to dealing with a lot of PSA 10 and nine cards, so I gotta take, take it out of the grading world. <laughs> And even the grading. Got a lifeline. Yeah, even in the grading world, I don't think it's uh, that crazy. But nothing in absolute power force is that crazy. But I do think this is possibly, besides Battle Fader, I think Battle Fader is still over $100 in Ultimate Rare. I think this is definitely a top two or three card in absolute power force. But I think this one, I'm going to say it's right around 50 but I don't think it's quite at 50 I think it's like, we'll say $47. Locked in. Locking it in at forty-seven dollars. Yes. <sighs> Lewis, Lewis, Lewis. Is it forty-six? <laughs> you nearly had a a really. I mean, you already did. You had a really good one, but you, it was almost better. But you did by saying fifty and then sneak it down to forty-seven. You actually got within twenty percent. It's a forty-dollar card. Okay. So you yeah. get two points out of that. That's the first ever two-point guess on Guess That Price season two. That was even better than your Eye of Tamias. You just got two six points there. Yeah, so you're so. up to 13 points with two cards, two, two full cards left. So uh, there's some potential here for you to do pretty well. Yeah, it can go downhill fast though. <laughs> it can go downhill fast. And let's see if this next fast. card will do that. All right. The next card is the Alligator's Sword Dragon. Uh, I'm going to guess it wasn't first released as the World Championship promo 2011. Unless you're really throwing me a curveball, because I know it, that's where it was released as a super, but ah, uh, maybe it was. Is that like, are those like side sets and like champ, like cards and all that? Is that possible answers or not? Anything is a possible answer for its first release. Anything is a possible answer. Okay. Okay. So like, if I gave you a crush card and it was first SJC, it would it would be yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, there's just some obscure cards that for some reason just like really iconic cards from the show and whatnot that just never got printed in the TCG until random moments. And I want to think that's probably one of them, but, um, and I don't know, I'm, I know there are common versions um, in random starter decks maybe and such like that. Um, Cause I know there's like Toon Alligator and stuff and like Pegasus starter deck, but I don't think that card is printed in it. Yeah, I'm going to go with um, WP11, which is 2011. That's my final answer. Lewis? Yes. You're going to be kicking yourself after this one. Is it started at Pegasus? This was released in the World Championship Pack 2010. Oh! August 14th, 2010. You forgot uh. about the rares. <laughs> this is the very forgettable year because they did all rares. And then the next year they did all of them in like super basically. Yeah. Yeah. Which I know you know. Yes, I do know. And you just remembered. So that, that, <laughs> well, that that's a tough one. Thank you for giving me the answer to the next question, though. <laughs> yeah, I think you knew this one anyway. Yeah, so I what's did. the rarity? It's a rare. Yeah. Okay. One point. <sighs> 
Look, I well, it's I knew as soon as you said 2011 that you forgot 2010. Yeah, I was, so I was it, uh, I, had the, I had the blinders on for 2011. Yeah, so you knew, and those were all rare. So yeah. you knew that. Okay, now we go for the number of printings. You still got you've got one out of out of three points. So that first mm -hmm. one kind of got you because yeah. that was three points right yeah. there or two points right there. But that's okay. You could bring it back right here. You still have multiple choice yeah. uh, thing yeah. bonus. What's it called? Lifeline. There yeah. we go. Yeah. All right, your four options here are A, six printings, B, 10 printings, C, eight printings, or D, five printings. All right, I think I'm gonna use my lifeline here and get rid of two. Okay, that seems like a good idea. All right, so the two that are going to be eliminated are D, five printings, and B, 10 printings. Okay, so there's, what, what two are left? Eight and 11? Six and eight. Six and eight. <laughs> six and eight. Yeah. Ooh, all right, this is still gonna be a complete guess because I know I know they've been printed as commons through various things, so I know too. Maybe they were printed in some random, you know, dualist league thing as the four color text. So there's only then the, there's four there, so that would make six. Or maybe they've just been randomly printed, you know, four other times. Eight does seem like a lot for that card, especially when its first release was in 2010, there's really not a reason to have that many printings that after that late of release. Yeah, I'm gonna go with six. Final answer? Locked in, final answer. Unfortunately, this card does have eight printings. Oof. Well, And oof. wow, they're all weird. They're okay. all weird. I knew, I knew it they had to be. Speed Duel Dex uh -huh. got one. Turbo Pack 8 got a rare. Speed Duel Streets of Battle City, they did it twice in Speed Duel. They have Legendary Deck 2, Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World is a common, then the World Championships 2010, 2011, and then Dual Terminal 4. None of these are, like, they're all random. Obscure. Throw them in the trash can. Yeah, that one. That one's super tough. So, okay. Let's Oof. see if you can make back some points here yeah. with the price. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do, and because you already brought it up, the 2011 Super Printing. <laughs> Okay, this one's tough because I, I do have it in a PSA 9, and I think I valued it. Um, the guy was in a kind of a hurry to move it and I valued it around raw value. I don't want to know the, the last card and not need to use the lifeline. So I do think I'm gonna use the lifeline on this category as well and just let it okay. let it ride on the last card. So my- I over, like it. My over under on this card is going to be, uh, TCG player is weird too, cause there could be- Yeah, few, keep in mind it's TCG player lowest listing yeah, and there, there were not a lot of listings of this, I'll tell you few, that. Very few listings, yeah. Over under is going to be $335. This card is more than $335. Okay, okay. I figured it would be, but I wanted to make sure that there wasn't some random listing that was a little less. All right, uh, I'm gonna go, if it's like, if there's like $500 or something stupid because, <laughs> Uh, you're, everyone's probably laughing like, oh, this is like seven hundred dollars on TC, but all right. You could argue, you could argue that most of the prices for these kind of cards are stupid. So. And this is the Alligator <laughs> Swords Dragon, the Fusion. Yes, the Fusion. Yes. Yes, not Alligator Swords. No, no, not Alligator Sword. No. I'm gonna go with four hundred and fifteen dollars in, but with TCG player, you never know. But I'm gonna go four fifteen. I think it should be less than that, but. With TCG player, I gotta put in a little buffer. It's probably like six hundred dollars or something stupid, but four fifteen locked in. <laughs> All right, you didn't do so well on this card. Uh, Seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred. But you did very oh. well on the price of this card. <laughs> it is four hundred dollars, which means you get three points on this part. Came back on that that part. All right, seventeen total points. You've currently matched Simo in episode one. So if you get any points on this last card, you will be our new leader <laughs> for best <laughs> scores. No pressure, no, no pressure. pressure. Especially since twenty points actually gets you to the next benchmark, which is uh, fifty dollars wow. in the reward. So. Thanks. Let's see if you can do that. Right, Last card, are you ready, Lewis? Yes. And how are you feeling right now about your performance? I'm shocked that I did so well on like I to Myus and kind of disappointed I did on that. So it's probably averaging out to about what it should be, I'd say. I think that's fair. Okay. Last card is the Gladiator Beast Retiari. Okay. Yeah, this one is well over the head of knowledge. 
Um, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna guess. All right, well, I'm definitely using um, whatever lifeline I can use on this first category, using for sure. So give me whatever information you can give me. All right, so you get one word out of the set name. The word I'm gonna give you, there's a word I could give you that would completely give it away, but then there's a word that there's a few options. So okay. I'm gonna give you the word with a few options. All right. Chaos. Chaos, okay. Well, I don't think it's Battles of Chaos. It could be Dimension of Chaos. I don't think it's Invasion of Chaos. Um, yeah, I think, and I'm sure there's other Chaos. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's in that like kind of 2000, probably seven to 2015 range of sets. And I'm sure there's Chaos sets in there that I don't even know of, but I do know Dimension of Chaos is kind of in that middle ground and that's the only chaos set that I can think of that that might have that card in it. So, on a, an absolute hail mary, fourth and like thirty, I'm gonna say Dimension of Chaos. <laughs> Don't bring up the Auburn Alabama game. Chelsea's not gonna be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, fourth and thirty, Dimension of Chaos, and I think the year of that is 2012. So we're going to lock that in, and I could be five years off one way or the other. All right. Gladiator Beast Retiari. Do you know this card at all? No. I could not tell you the, the I couldn't, I couldn't tell you if it was an effect, a fusion, uh, anything, nothing. <laughs> oh, well, this is going to be tough for you then. Okay. I was wondering if you would know this card because it came out in Crossroads of Chaos. Ooh, Okay on November 18th, 2008. So yeah. it's kind of in your range, like yeah. barely on the yeah. fringes. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just, unfortunately I did not, did not open a lot of Crossroads of Chaos just because it's hard yeah. to get first edition packs and I don't like opening unlimited packs of sets at first edition. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that makes that makes sense. I knew it was like that 2007 because, you know, there's a lot of Gladiator Beast in, uh, in Gladiator's Assault, which is right, right. in the same time frame. This one's kind of a weird one that it just feels like it should be in Gladiator's Assault, but it's not. So I was a little, I was trying to be a little tricky with that, but then you didn't even know the card, so it didn't matter. Yeah. And if you, if you had, if I hadn't had the lifeline, I would have probably guessed Gladiator's Assault. So, uh, yeah, we, we would have been wrong still, but I think I would have got the year right then maybe. No, no. I think Gladiator's no Assault might be 2007, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's the very last set, yeah. 2007, I think. Okay, well, now let's see if you can guess the rarity, since you don't know the card. At least uh, you know the rarities in that set yeah, yeah. now. Uh, and I can eliminate Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Ghost. No, so now it's probably between Ultimate and Secret, and that is the coin flip. Uh, I'm going to guess Ultimate, just because I think he gave me another Ultimate, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to lock in ultimate. It's probably a secret. I'm going to overthink it, but I'm locking in ultimate. You have officially overthought your first question. <laughs> it is a secret rare. <laughs> uh, this is one of the weirdest ones that, like, nobody even, like, remembers that this was a secret in here. Yeah. Like, such a weird... Because, like, Crossroads of Chaos secrets are not very impactful for the no, most part. No. There's a couple of them, but you're mostly looking for the ulties or like the ghost or whatever mm -hmm. so this one kind of they kind of overlook this rarity All here right. i gotta finish gotta finish strong here get the 20. you gotta get a point here so you can you yeah. can pass Simo. yeah all right multiple choice number of friendings i made this one straightforward there right. are four options a one b two c three or d four gladiator beast i bet it's probably printed in some random deck uh because there's i mean I mean, there definitely are cards that only have one printing, but uh, not a lot of cards that are that old, I bet, still have just one printing. I'm gonna say two, we'll lock in two, final answer. All right. Did I overthink that one too? <laughs> I mean, you don't really know a lot about this card, so it's hard to really overthink it, yeah. but what you did do was guess correctly <laughs> it is two printings. <laughs> one in four, baby, one in four. Yeah, so it has a printing cross was a chaos, and then it got a turbo pack three printing. So it's been a turbo, very long time since it's pack. had one. Yeah, yeah. you gotta remember like, yeah. all the random turbo pack, OTS packs, all those, like those are the ones you really forget about or don't even know about. Yeah, the, you're like, oh, I didn't know that had a common in there yeah. or a rare or something yeah. like that. So, all right, you're up to 18. If you can get this thing within 20%, you can get 20 points. All right. All so right. I am, since there are only two printings, I am asking about the first edition Crossroads of Chaos secret rare printing. All right. So, in your mint. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't think a lot of the cards in that set 
have a lot of value, but it's more than ten dollars. I do know that. Yeah, it's guaranteed. Guaranteed more than ten, and it is still like very expensive packs. And first edition secret rare, which is probably like one in twenty-four to one in thirty pull odds. Um, so there's definitely some rarity there to warrant the value. Playability, no idea. Uh, never know if it was relevant or if you pulled it and you were angry at the world. <laughs> uh, I cannot imagine this being more than like $50. I want to float around the $50 range, but I don't think it might not even be that. Yeah, I'm going to guess $42. Final answer? Yeah, I don't like it, but it is my final answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you don't really know this card, so I, I can't expect you to really like know too much but unfortunately this card is a hundred dollars yeah is it the best secret or is there is there more than one so it is playable i think it's a one of in the gladiator beast deck so edison stuff then it's the first edition you know with crosswords yeah, of chaos yeah. is always just crazy so yeah, underplayed the, uh, value, it, the rarity it has some it has some use in gladiator beast decks it's actually a pretty good card yeah i mean you didn't you didn't even know which card it was so i can't expect you to know I'll that to, one I'll but to, i have to look a picture of it up <laughs> <laughs> normally and on the previous season i would send a picture but i can't now because it would have like you know some info that yeah. You would get yeah. some of the, the answers. So yeah, yeah Gladiator to be Sretiari, that was your ultimate downfall. But still, you did better than Simo. You did pretty well. Yeah, I had to my and uh high only really came through for me. Yeah, those were those were big for you. That's the thing. It's like you can do really well on one card, and then one card you can just have no idea. Yeah. So okay. overall, pretty solid performance though, Lewis. And yeah. thank you for hopping on. Make sure you guys go check out Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh!'s channel. If you like vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff, he's got it. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, and if someone gets the, you know, 25, 30 points, I bow down to their knowledge because that is going to be tough, especially with TCG player pricing. It's just, you never know. You never know in TCG player. <laughs> After last year when I when everyone was saying the 1% was way too hard and then Pack got like 0.1%, yeah. like, I just know it's going to happen. Yeah. Somebody's going to come in and they're going to know every card exactly somehow and they're just going to nail it. It's yeah. going to be, I'm just expecting it to happen. So it's we've no. started off... It, you know, with pretty a average performances. You know, you guys have known some stuff, but you haven't known everything. Somebody is gonna just go crazy on that th at some point, at, but you just never know. Yeah, I, I I fully expect to not be on on top for long, but I do appreciate the, <laughs> I do appreciate the invite, and it was it was fun. Made me made me think, and uh, maybe go look up some cards that I didn't know about, and maybe some cards that we talked about are. Uh, undervalued and i might go buy one or something you know never know this is your next card for psa 10 you got to get a retiari too yeah, apparently. that's retribution <laughs> for this <laughs> yeah. all right lewis thank you for coming on and uh if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and go check out vintage Yu-Gi-Oh as well i will see you guys in the next episode of guess that price peace, peace. <laughs> nice i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of guess that price if you did go check out season one right here or some previous episodes from season two here shout out to home Fo show puffins of doom ernesto deanna america doidster brad kk beats and another show ian musa junior barding robert f thomas mclean Chang Lang, and joey castle thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace